A good knowledge of road signs and markings is essential in order to answer the questions in this section. You will need to know the meanings of all road signs and markings. Although it is essential to understand the rules that govern the shape, colour and placement of road signs and markings, many of the questions in this section are simple, what does this sign mean, type of questions. For example, what does this sign mean? A. Roundabout. B. Mini roundabout. C. Contraflow. D. No U-turns. The correct answer is A. Roundabout. Topics include road signs, knowing the meanings of different road signs, speed limits, being aware of and planning for speed limit signs, road markings, knowing the meanings of road markings, regulations, knowing the regulations associated with road signs and markings. Road markings. Markings on the road give information, orders or warnings. As a general rule, the more paint there is, the more important the message. Lines on or across the road. Broken lines across the road mean give way. At a roundabout, give way to traffic from the right. A single solid line means stop. Warning of a give way ahead. Markings along the side of the road. A solid white line shows the edge of the carriageway. Yellow lines show waiting and stopping restrictions apply. Zigzag lines, white at pedestrian crossings, yellow outside schools, mean no stopping or parking at any time. Markings along the middle of the road. A broken short white line marks the centre of the road. Longer broken white lines show a hazard is ahead. You must not cross or straddle double white lines with a solid white line on your side of the road unless you're turning into a junction or an entrance, you need to pass a stationary vehicle, you need to overtake a cyclist, horse or road maintenance vehicle if they're moving at 10 miles an hour or less. Road sign rules. Circular signs give orders. Red circles tell you what you mustn't do. Blue circles tell you what you should do. Triangular signs give warnings. The only octagonal sign so that it stands out is a stop sign. Rectangle signs give information. Green rectangles are used for direction signs on primary routes. White rectangles are used for direction signs on non-primary and local routes. Blue rectangles give information except when on motorways when they give directions. Signs with a brown background display tourist information. Traffic lights. Traffic lights work in a sequence. 1. Red. Stop and wait behind the stop line. 2. Red and amber. Stop and wait. Don't pass or start until the green light shows. 3. Green. Continue ahead if the way is clear. 4. Amber. Stop unless you've already crossed the stop line or you're so close to it that pulling up might cause an incident. Filter arrows. Some traffic lights have a green filter arrow. This means you can go in the direction of the arrow even if the main green light isn't on.